download from Lilligo GitHub. Fourth, go to Lilligo GitHub and find the T Echo example. Now we are cloning firmware locally through Git. You can also click download zip to download. Anyway, as long as you download this to your computer. Here we show you the steps to download using Git. Right click on the black space in the folder and then click open Git page here on the Papa terminal. Enter git colon and the corresponding download link. You can paste the link to the terminal through shift plus insert. Open the download the firmware and open the firmware folder. It contains our factory firmware and text firmware for different functional versions, such as Bluetooth, GPS, and LoLa at different frequencies. Then let's take a look at how to download LoLa firmware into the T Echo. T Echo, how to use LoLa function to send and receive messages. Double click the RST button to enter this mode. Drag the Lola firmware onto this disk. Do the same for another T echo. After downloading the firmware of both TX hosts, enter the firmware interface and wait for initialization to complete. Click this button to switch TX host sending and receiving mode. The black TX host is sending message, the white TX host is receiving and displaying it on the screen. echo how to connect Bluetooth. Double click the ISD button to enter this mode. Drag the Bluetooth testing firmware onto the disk. Use the NRF Connect app to connect to Bluetooth. You can download this through Google Store or their official website. Enter T echo and search for Bluetooth connection. Now connect it successfully. T echo how to use GPS function for positioning. Double-click the RST button to enter this mode. Drag the GPS testing firmware onto the disk. Wait for TA call to power on while opening the serial assistant. Open the DRT and then check the data. If it shows that there is data, you can take it outdoors. Now is the effect of picking outdoors. LNG is longitude, LA is latitude, day is the current time, and UTC is duration of the T echo activation. T echo how to use mass static firmware to send and receive messages. 
go to Mesh Test Kit and click Get Started. Find downloads to go to the download page. Find firmware and click download stable. If you need to choose another version, you can click old versions. We choose the latest one by default here. Get a zip package and unzip it. Here we choose a file format such as Double click the ISD button to enter disk mode. Drag the firmware we just downloaded to the disk. And other TA hole does the same thing. In this case, we need to use the Mastastic software, which can be downloaded from the App Store for iPhone users and from Google Store or the official website for Android users. Enter the PIN for the Bluetooth pairing. The connection is successful. We must select the region here, otherwise communication will not be possible normally. Connect and add the TA code in the same way. Enter the Bluetooth pairing code. It's the same thing here, and I've already done. Here, two TA codes need to enter the same channel. If you need to create edit yourself, you can click new channel. Now go to the test channel. I'm sending hi. The other side sending hello. Finally, the two echoes successfully communicated.